Hey everybody, Al with Land and Legacy Group here. I uh, just wanted to shoot a follow-up video um, to a prior video that I did that was all about clearing a walking trail uh, on your property for showings. And I'm out here on a property that I actually own. Um, it, it's three acres in the town of Jackson. I'm gonna show you how far you can take this stuff to really uh, make the accessibility a heck of a whole lot easier. And then also just add some value um, to your property that's rather uh, inexpensive. So I'm gonna show you uh, the driveway that we did first because when we first bought this property um, the driveway wasn't all the way through we're about 500 feet um, off the road which is pretty nice but we needed to finish about 100 feet um, of driveway um, and clear a bunch of trees and stuff like that so um, I'm going to show you what that looks like so here you can see the you'll I'll show you this um, you'll see the difference in the type of gravel but we we finished this uh, we had somebody come in and and finish all of it. We had a bunch of trees to clear out. Um, and then we had to, you know, regrade this because this was slightly sloped. So you can see where the driveway driveway goes. So this is coming into the property. And we'll flip this around. So that's where it started. And then we had to, there's a bunch of trees that we had to clear out. And this, this whole project here cost about 2,400 bucks um, to have the trees cleared. We had a couple of trees cleared in the front as well that helped, um, but we're able to uh, get this all done for about $2,400. Um, so that's the driveway part before you couldn't even drive back here. Um, I'm gonna take you down this trail that I also mowed because this, it doesn't look like much in the video, but this was all overgrown and thick and stuff like that. Um, so I came and mowed a trail. Looks like I got to probably mow it again here pretty quick. It's been super dry um, where we are. But just this this right here is when uh, all the quad axles came out to uh, pour the dry or to dump the gravel out for the driveway. So this was just a, a two pass uh, trail with a uh, 60 inch uh, zero turn lawnmower. Um, <clears throat> and I just I kind of went through it first. Um, just to see where I wanted the trail to go, but I wanted to have it give it a little bit of character um, These holes right here So these are gonna be for trees um, so I just had uh, My brother dig some holes there. Um, so when we get some bigger trees We can do that and we got the dirt all ready to go. Um, so that just helped make my life a lot easier I'll show you a couple other spots where we did that You can see the trail kind of winds a little bit just to give it a little bit more character. There was an old trail, um, but that just went around the boundary. What we did there is planted uh, some some white oak and then, I'm sorry, some red oak and then some white pine. Um, they were pretty small, so we'll see how they fill in. But here's another, another hole that we had dug for a future tree, making life easier. And then this clearing, so you can see there's a neighbor's house there. But what I wanted to do here, so this is going to be a, this is going to be a food plot. Um, so I mowed, mowed the shape that I wanted, kind of messed up the first time. That's why this stuff's a little bit shorter. Um, and there's another hole here uh, for a future tree. So then this is my my food plot, there's a trail camera in the center there. We've had some really nice, really nice pictures out here. So this is all sprayed. We'll get this tilled up here uh, in a little bit. See the wind must have knocked my antenna down. So we'll flip that back up. So we'll take a panoramic here so you can see everything. So this, this property changes a lot in, in summer because um, this will all be knocked down in, in fall and winter. Um, so it really, it really greened up a lot. And this trail system, uh, it took me just a couple hours uh, on a Saturday with the mower. I'll come back out and, and mow it again, but it really doesn't need it. Um, like I said, it's been super dry. Here you can see, so I have two Two entry points to the food plot. 
that just go around. So that's where we came, basically where we came from. And this trail will probably change um, once the house is built because I think our, our septic system is going to be going somewhere in here. Um, so I kind of worked with that a little bit, knowing <clears throat> what was going to change and what wasn't. Um, the house we're planning on doing is right to the left of where my, my truck is. Um, and then the rest of this, you know, whatever doesn't have to be, be changed for septic and landscaping and whatnot, um, we're going to do like a little bit of a prairie restoration. Um, so that'll help with the habitat and stuff like that. So this got a little, a little wider just from the quad axles coming through. So this will all probably be disturbed at some point and I'll have to relay out the trail and stuff like that. You can see there's some, some pines that are coming up. Uh, we'll put some more, more around there. But this whole project, since we bought it, we've probably put in uh, 20, about $2,500 with the driveway. And then really just time with the lawnmower and stuff like that, getting it all, all looking nice. None of this was here when we bought it. Um, and just from what I could tell, looking at other properties and stuff like that, I think we've probably added about a 30% increase in value just by doing this small, these small little projects. Um, so it's turning out pretty good. So that's the, that's the tour and then basically we want our house to kind of be just in front there so that'll overlook the food plot and everything and all the trails stuff like that so that was just a quick little tour uh, of this property that we bought that we changed some stuff on uh, like I said it's probably it's probably about 500 feet off the road um, so we did have to finish that driveway and then we did cut in uh, those trails I think I had about two Saturdays uh, worth of work I probably could have condensed that into one Saturday, but I had some other stuff going on. So super easy to do. Uh, like I said, we probably got an additional 2,500 bucks uh, finishing the driveway and then just some mis miscellaneous stuff uh, that we did. So um, just a follow up video from the trail that I talked about in my prior video. This is another thing you can do, um, especially on an open property like this. Uh, a lot of people think they can just leave it uh, and you don't, you don't really have to maintain it or do anything. Um, but just having a simple trail system uh, like I put in a little food plot clearing with a trail camera ready to go. Um, just adds a totally different feel to the property. Um, as soon as I cut that trail, um, I had some people come out uh, that knew the property and they said it felt totally different. Um, a lot higher, higher class type of property. Um, so I think we added a lot of value just by doing those simple projects. Um, so if you have a property like this uh, and you want some ideas, just reach out to me. Um, I can bring you out here if you want and you can take a look. Um, otherwise, we can just talk on the phone and, or email back and forth and put something together. But um, just some stuff you can do on a smaller property to increase the value.